My name's John Gorm. I am a percussive fingerstyle acoustic guitar player. And yeah, I'm here to show you my new guitar. I get asked by people a lot, what guitar should I buy? I want to play modern fingerstyle guitar, maybe a bit of percussive guitar. Um, what should I get? And it's really frustratingly difficult to answer that question because unless they want to get a handmade luthier built guitar which might be incredibly expensive or incredibly hard to get hold of um, there's nothing really to recommend nothing guitar design hasn't moved forward with the technique with with the style of playing and i've wanted to change that for a long time and ibanez is the guitar that I've always associated with progressive guitar playing. Um, I used to get the catalogue um, when I was a kid and cut out all the photos of my heroes with their Ibanezes and uh, stick it on my bedroom wall. Um, so it's the, it's the perfect fit. The information we got from John was uh, very simple. Uh, he wanted to have the uh, uh, offset design, jumbo body, that was pretty much it. Based on that idea, we tried to uh, design the body shape. We know his taste was a more heavier tone. So in order to achieve the heavier sound, we made the uh, string side a little bigger to get more resonance from the low frequency. So we've designed the body of the guitar to be the perfect ergonomic shape for um, reaching any percussive noises that you might want to make and um, it has to be a certain size in order to get the low, deep bass that um, is really, really important to this style of playing. Um, sometimes it's known as piano bass. Um, and that's great whether you're tuning down into different tunings or not. So pickups are vitally important to this style of playing. Um, and it's been a constant battle for many many years for many players to try and figure out combinations of different pickups so we finally have in this guitar a setup which will give you every sound that you could possibly need and you can output it from the guitar with just one simple guitar cable or if you want you can split it into three different sources and mix them yourself so you can be as simple as you like or as complicated as you like but every sound that you make on this guitar no matter what it is will be reproduced and uh, sound amazing. And uh, another tricky area is the uh, cutaway shape. Usually, uh, when we think about the cutaway, the uh, most important factor is the high position accessibility. But uh, John's feedback is totally different. He wanted to add more tonal variation when he tapped the body. That was uh, impressive for us. Uh, so we decided to go for the more extreme style of the uh, cutaway. And uh, when we showed the actual guitar to him, that was the uh, end of November 2018. At the first glance, I believe he fell in love with that body. It was crazy last night, yeah. yeah. I don't know, she's just going through a strange little, strange little phase, I think. Yeah. Well, I'm very excited. Wow. <laughs> no, I can't, I need to wait. <laughs> <laughs> I think the body looks good. Mm. Yep. Yeah. I think it's 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 like to me it's uh it's really radical mm -hmm. but really subtle and mm -hmm. you wouldn't notice. I'm really surprised how good it sounds. So I feel like now I've actually got this guitar in my hands, um, I'm incredibly proud of it. Um, I think it's going to really help a lot of people 
trying to play modern fingerstyle and struggling with an inappropriate instrument. And for me, I'm finding already that it's helping me find my voice as a guitarist in a new way, which I'm really excited about. So I hope that everyone gets a chance to try this guitar, to experience the sound of it, um, to experience what it feels like to play it and how easier certain techniques will feel on here. And um, I hope basically that you love it as much as I do.